Welcome to an episode of my Linux driver tutorials. In my previous videos when using a character device, I have used one function which reserved a range of device numbers for me and also created the character device. But in today's video I want to show you how to do this manually without this function. The reason for this is in later videos where I will show you how your kernel module actually also creates your device file, these functions will be also used, so it makes sense to discuss them here in this separate video. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH, and the first thing I will do is I will navigate into my Linux driver tutorials folder. So here you can see all the various drivers and kernel modules I have developed for this series, and as a template for today's video, we will use lection 5, hello cdev, and I will create a new folder I will call 9 manual cdev. And let me jump into it. Ah, by the way, thanks to the viewer who told me this nice macro here, which will take the last argument of my previous command. This is very handy. Okay, so let's take a look what we have in here. So we have three files. Hello, cdev.c is the C source file of our kernel module. The make file is needed for building the kernel module. And this readme will tell you a little bit more about this, um, yeah, this kernel module. So let me open up hello cdev and let's take a look at it. So here we are creating, registering our character device. Therefore we are using the function register character device. And this function does both for us. So it allocates or reserves a range of device numbers for us and it also creates the character device. Today we want to substitute this function with some manual calls to do both steps um, separately. And this function takes the following argument. The first one is a static device number, if we have a device number we want to use, or a zero to tell the function to dynamically allocate a free device number for us. And this device number here is only the major device number. Then the next argument here is a string, which will appear in proc devices. And the last argument here are the file operations which will be supported by our character device. And here we are only supporting a read function which prints out one line to the kernel's lock. Okay, so let's substitute this function here and allocate or reserve a range of device numbers manually and then create the character device. But for doing so, I need to add a new include. So I will include linux slash cdiff.h. And here, this um, global variable um, base was the major device number I want to use. But for this method, we need a device number which consists of a major device number part and a minor device number part. So I will use the type devt and I will call this global variable device number. And then I have also declare a struct from the type um, cdev my cdev, this is the cdev we want to add. Okay. So, let's say if, um, if I have defined the macro static device number, then I will use the, I will use a static device number. If this is not defined, I will um, use, or I will dynamically allocate a free device number. Okay. So, and I also need a status variable to save the return value of some functions. So in case we have a define called static device number, I will set def number to static device number. Okay. And then I will call the function um, register um, character device region, which um, yeah, registers a region of device numbers for me. So the first argument here is the first device number from which on the other device numbers will be reserved, and this is of course def number. The second argument is the amount of device numbers I want to allocate. So if I want to allocate one device number, I could use a one here, but I will um, register the maximum amount of device number. Therefore, I will use this minor mask macro which is basically um, yeah, all 
So the major for the major device number you have the lower 20 bits available and this minor mask is basically um, a macro where 19 bits are set to 1 and the rest is set to 0. And by adding a 1 here I am reserving the maximum amounts of device numbers I can get. And the last argument here is the name I want to display in or I want to give the range of device numbers and th this should also appear in um, proc devices and here I will choose the name hello cdev. Okay, so now let's also take a look at the dynamical way of registering a device number. So here I will use the function alloc character device region instead of register character device region. And now here the device number, the first argument is a pointer because in the, or at the address of the pointer we will store the um, allocated device number for us. And this function has one more argument and this is the first minor device number which should be used and here I will use minor device number zero for yeah, allocating or starting to allocate. Okay, so what we have done here is we have where we try to register or allocate a range of device numbers and now of course we have to check if this was successful. So in case these functions were successful, they return a zero and else they return an error code. Hello. So in case um, status is not equal to zero, an error occurred and I will print out error reserving the region of device numbers. And I will return the error code here. Okay, and now the next step is we have to create and add our character device. Therefore, I will use the function cdef in it. And here I will pass a pointer to my global character device variable. The second argument uh, are the file operations I want to support, or a pointer to the file operations I want to support, which is a pointer to the struct here. And then I have to set one more field. So the owner of this um, CDEF object is this module. So this current kernel module here. Okay, and then we can call the function cdef add to add the character device. And cdef add needs the following arguments. The first argument is a pointer to the character device we want to add, which is my cdef. The second one is the device number, which is um, associated with the character device, and here I will use device number. And last but not least, I have to give it a count of minor device numbers which should be binded to this character device and once again I will use minor mask plus one here. And in case this um, returns a value unequal to zero an error occurred, so I will print out hello cdef um, error adding cdef and I will go to free def number. So here I'm using go to and in general, yeah, go to is in regular C programming, you shouldn't use go to um, so much because it can make a program very, um, very hard to read because you are jumping to a lot of different um, things. But for uninitializing in an error case, go to is extremely cool to use. I will show you more about this in the next video. But here let me define a label, um, free def number, and here I will unregister the range of registered device numbers. So I will use unregister character device region. So I want to unregister my device number, and once again I want to unregister minor mask plus one device numbers from here, and then I will return the status here. Okay, and in case this works, I will print out a um, line to the kernel's lock, um, registered character device um, for major, here I will print out the major device number, starting with 
minor and in case to get the major and minor device number out of this def number variable here i can use the macro major and i have to pass my device number in minor and i have to pass the device number here and of course this should be all in upper cases here okay and then it will return a zero okay and here in the exit function all i have to do is i have to unregister the um yeah the device numbers and i have to delete my character device i have created and that should be it but last thing for manually registering uh starting with the zero yeah okay so that should be it let me try to compile it Oh, yeah, here I have a typo. You try. Okay, this is looking good. So let me start Tmux and let's open a second window here. Here we will follow our kernel lock. And here I will load my hello cdef kernel module. Okay, so we can see it registered a character device for mage number 36, minor number 0, and we should be also able to see this, see this um, in you know, cdef in proc devices. Yeah, here we can also see it. And now let me create a device file. Dev, um, hello, 0, character device major number 236 minus 0 and let's create a second one here which I will call 100 and which will get the major device number 100 okay and now if I read from def hello 0 I'm getting one line printed here in my kernel slog and if I'm reading from 100 it also works and I should be also able to remove the module um hello cdef yeah it worked and now the character device should be gone here yeah cool so that's how to manually create a character device in a linux kernel module but now we still had to manually um, create the device file perhaps um, with a bash command but in the next video i will show you how to create the device file from within your kernel module so I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee on buymycoffee.com slash for Linux or use super thanks here on YouTube. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.